Let's spell it out a little bit. We are now going to do Bundesliga it's chat time. time. It's time to talk the Bundesliga, the best league in the world. Where it's not a farm league, fuck you, things so. are. It's a Bundesliga, Bundesliga. Yeah, hi, Craig. Bundesliga chat time is Did you hear the anthem and song? Is, it's awesome. I love chat, that anthem chat, song. Chat, 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 chat. All right. Chat, chat, all right. Chat, chat, chat. <laughs> and this is why we call it the kids' table. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Tell us, Nate, what are the big stories? What are the results this past weekend from the Bundesliga well, we need to know about? So let's just cover some things hot and heavy. I was wrong on a whole bunch of things. <laughs> oh boy! All right, well. So I was like, off. you know, we'll, we'll go, we'll go top to bottom. I mean, Gladbach is uh, beat Hertha, and they're they're doing well. Um, they're actually sitting second at the table. They haven't lost a game. Good for them. That was un. I thought they were going to beat Hertha. The, so I kind of predicted that, but actually, if you would have told me coming into the season that they'd be sitting where they were, I wanted to. Nice to have another U.S. player getting a full start there, and Mr. Scully, yeah, Scully, 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 Scully. Mr. Mr. Joseph Scully, doing well, doing and, well. and many and people, product. and he's not just a one-hit wonder anymore, right? No, because this and is season two where he's doing this. Gladbox straight out called out. Our backup left. Burhalter Ber- Ber- by saying, yeah, here's his third start, but I guess he's not good enough for your team. Love it. On Love social it. media. Love it. So we'll see how that works out. And for you know him. what? He better start the next two games and play well because if not, the, I, the club a, and the social no, media account he's manager is going to look dumb. He's been a permanent starter for that team since last year, so I don't think I think he was in the cards to be the permanent starter this year. And oh, I, think I agree. Fully yeah, yeah. Con- so it doesn't matter. Next and he game. deserves to make yeah, the he's squad. Playing great. He just uh, um, actually at the end of September. There is a uh, exhibition game the yes. U.S. are playing in Germany mm-hmm. against Japan. Against you got it Don't against they have Japan. Else they're playing before Japan, though. Don't know. We'll Possibly, it. but it is in Germany. Yes, it is. So it, I mean, you gotta, you've gotta believe that. That he's he's gonna They'll be call there. in all the MLS players that game. Moving on, oh, Leverkusen. Well, that's good. Because it's in Ger- because it's in Germany. Yeah. It's because it's in Europe. All the European based players will go. Le- all right, moving on, moving on, Happy. moving on. Leverkusen, uh, Hoffenheim. Now, Leverkusen is not doing well. They are 0-4 in all competitive competitions. They they lost to a uh, no nothing like Division three team, four Cor- three. Correction, they, they 0 got, 3 No, 0 and four in competitive because they played the Pokal and lost to the Pokal. That's what I mean. That's the first. You did uh, say in all competitive competitions. That's a competitive competition. So they lost the opening match of their Pokal four to three, unheard of. Then they went on to poop all over themselves for Dortmund one zero. Then Osberg somehow punched him in the face at home. And then I'm like, all right, this is a must win. They're gonna beat Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim put on a show and they just smashed him. With actually Christian Baumgartner having one of the best goals I've seen all year next to the bicycle kick from DCFC. That's in a category. Of yep. Where yep. he back heeled a uh, goal in a goal from a good 10 to 15 yards out. Ball comes in, back heels it in the corner. That was actually the second back heel goal that actually happened in the Bundesliga this week. Nate, why do you watch the Bundesliga? I don't know. Sick ass goals. Anywho. So Hoff and I beat the hell out of Leverkusen 3-0, and I'm just sitting here wondering when that guy's going to be fired. So he's on the ropes. Dortmund, unfortunately, let uh, Bremen come back in. They shot out early to a 2-0 lead, and then Bremen just slowly uh, came back on him and won it. Um, good for them, bad for Dortmund, because it, it the problem with this league is Everyone goes, oh, look at Munich. All the other teams suck. It's not so much that as all the other teams are so much more even. And every time a team draws or loses that could be competitive, that's just further away Munich gets, which, if you ask me, I don't want them to win the league, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Stuttgart unfortunately lost to Freiburg 0-1. Freiburg uh, had a hell of a a set-piece goal that went in. Um, Stuttgart had a lot of chances at home and just kind of put it away. Freiburg doing very well, by Freiburg's the way. Fifth in the fifth in the standings. And they did very so, uh, well last year too. Yeah, they so they're doing very they're well a again. Good team. They're yep. a good team, and what's nice about them is they're one of these teams that don't have a lot of flashy players. They don't have a lot of names. They have a stalwart of a coach who's been there for umpteenth forever years, and they just kind of get the job done. Um, the last game that I thought that was really great on that Saturday match, and then we'll skim right to uh, Sunday. 
uh, and talk a little Munich, was Union Berlin versus Leipzig. Now, Leipzig is another team that their coach is doing very, very poorly considering the investments that they put in. Mm -hmm. They have struggled to actually win. They've drawn, but have not won. 0-2-1 so far this year. Yep, and I thought they were going to win against Berlin. Berlin... Who has a one Jordan Pifok playing for them? Who not me? Sibichu or Sibichu depends on who. What do you want to call him? But on the the sheet they call him Pifok, and on the stands they call him Sibichu. So anywho, um, scored another goal for them. So that's two goals in three games for him. Dude is on fire right now. He is on fire. Cannot stop scoring. And he helped set up the second goal for them, basically by getting murdered by playing the ball forward. And it's a great win for Union Berlin. A Union Berlin, I think I wrote about this in the team, they're very much a supporter-built team coming up from ashes of nowhere. Versus Leipzig, who was... Basically, you can't get more corporate than red. Corporate right? money, so absolutely. It was, it just, was working yeah, man absolutely. versus corporate there. And Second to oil money. Yeah, and, Second and energy drink money. And the fact energy is, drink money. But, and the yeah. fact is, Leipzig has a huge roster with a lot of marquee name players that are very good, spent oodles of money on them, and continue to do so. Just bought Timo Werner back from Chelsea for with a lot of money. And uh, Union were the better team that, that day. And they looked better the whole time. And PFOC is lighting it up in a different league, like he was in the other league, with a different coach, unlike other Ricardo Pepe <clears throat> for Augsburg, who's, not to say that I'm a Pepe hater, but what pisses me off is how come this guy is the automatic call-up, but Sibichu is not. Well, okay, so we well, let's get to this discussion in, in about five minutes once we've finished our right. Bundesliga chat two time, more, because there is, there is something to talk about yeah. there, as and, we've and mentioned that's, before. That's, that's, Absolutely. It's nothing against Pepe, and I think he'll be good, and honestly, playing for Osberg, and he did get in for like five minutes uh, for Osberg, didn't really do anything, but he was there, waved, shook hands. Also, uh, Gio Reyna had a, a small, quick run out for Dortmund as well. Um, so it's good to see him back. Um, but he's got to stay healthy. He's got to stay healthy. So, yep. but, but my often injured. Yeah, Gio Reyna. He's still very young though. Yeah, he's nineteen twenty. He's still very young. Still, he's going to be a good player. He just needs to stay healthy. Can we wrap him in bubble wrap and cotton wool until they're working on it until Dortmund. November? They're, they're Please, we need him. If we have any hope of getting out of that mm-hmm. that yeah, group stage of the World Cup, it would have a lot of depth to our. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. so Pepe Sorry. is one of those uh, players, young young players who I think will come good. He's young and he's in a big league and just needs time. Well, and Texas is a lot different. You know, than Germany. It is? Ger- oh, yeah. I know. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> <Can't have to laughs> Moving on. No. Frankfurt played Cologne, and both teams looked very well. Frankfurt's actually starting to look better this year, more like the Europa champions that they were, off to a very slow start. They're still sitting slow. And the last game on the list, and yes, it's Bochum, and yes, it's Munich. However, last year, Bochum beat them mm-hmm. for one or four two this year munich got the revenge and pounded them seven zero now here's the thing here's the thing though if i were to tell you last year munich scored one was an own goal okay if i were to say hey munich scored six goals how many goals would have been coming from a single player a single one uh landonowski is no longer there you would think that a uh, majority of them yeah but like three, three yeah three yeah you four, would say minimum three yeah. three or four yeah. and this is why munich is actually really scary and this is why i think munich is going to be really scary in the champions league and just pay pay attention now you had out of the six goals you had five different goal scorers you had sane you had delit you had Coleman, you had Mane for two, and Gnabry for one. And these goals that are going in are not solo efforts. Right. You're talking about three, four. Team goals. You're Just talking about three, four, one-touch passes yeah. within the 18 before someone slams at home. Who's the nine for them? Uh, right now, uh, uh, Mane, uh, Mane is playing I say, the nine. Yeah, yeah Mane, is, they, Mane is playing high but, on the field. And, but they, and I think he loves it because yep. where, when he was been at Liverpool for the past couple of years, he's always pushed out yep. wide. Wide but, left has been but, his position out there, but they, now he's playing the nine. They alternate from Coleman, who switches in and out. He drops in, they drop out. They yeah. alternate from Sané, drop it in. They alternate from Gnabry, dropping in. They all can so switch and They play. all can switch, and that's what makes them deadly. They're passing and moving, and they're all quick 
fast, deadly guys. And if you look again at Nigelsmann's system, and you look again how Nigelsmann and why Timo Werner was so successful in Leipzig, is that's how he does it. And everyone was asking, like, oh, well, how's the nine that you're going to replace? And I said there wasn't going to be one. This is evidence of it. And that's what makes him so dangerous. You could ping two, three, or call out players to cover a single forward. I don't know how you're going to cover all these guys moving around in the way they are. Right. So they're going to be very, very deadly in the, the Champions League, and they're not relying on a one guy to score all their goals. And if someone's in a slump, they got four, right? They've so, also they also got some people on the bench. So if one or two go down injured, yeah. they got backups. Right and, now, and, and right playing. now Jamal Musiala is yeah, tied is tied for right. three right. for third, and he didn't even touch the field that game. It's I'm, like I'm telling you, there's they have, right? they're not they're not only setting themselves up Hell's. to win the Bundesliga. Easily, very easily. Champions League will be They're going after Champions League. They're absolutely 100% setting themselves up for well, Champions League. They know where they failed yeah, last that's year. Where that's where these buys go in for. Yep. That's why Niles Man was brought in. It was yep. to do that. Yep. So it's They are scary good. They are right now. scary good. Scary good. Uh, you said it last year. It, no, I don't want to say you're wrong. But they, they didn't win the Champions League. No. You and I both agreed at the time. No. They got beat by, they got knocked out by Madrid, right? Right. The team, the only team that won it, who knocked everyone else <laughs> Who knocked out. everybody else we out. Didn't, I didn't Just see that, yeah. A team that went so on a tear. The I, that's a different Real Madrid yep. team this year. I think Bayern Munich this year fully understand what's going on mm-hmm. and will emphasize winning the Champions League. I think they may get it done. Right now, they could possibly be the number one team in the world. If you had to rank teams right now, I think... They're gonna be number one. Uh, Holland with Man City has got to be close at number two. So just depending on the week, it, it's gonna be. I find it funny that they don't spend nearly as much money as Man City, no. Bayern do, and they still and they buy smart, they buy right, and just, they, just by smart. Consistently, yeah. they just Absolutely. do they just do better in yep. Champions League yep. every year. Yeah. And no, they don't all yeah. buy them from other Bundesliga teams. I don't yeah. think Sané <laughs> came from the Bundesliga. Right? I don't think De Ligt came from the Bundesliga. I think some people just get tired of the EPL. And they're like, I want to go somewhere else and do well, something. Well, Brooks, man, you, be, you, you know, you're a player. You're a scout. You're a player. If I were like, hey, man. Come play here. You're gonna win a trophy, and yeah. you're gonna go deep in the Champions League. Oh, and by the way, you know, we take stress on you. Yeah, too. and by the way, we take yeah. we take off uh, a couple months in the winter, so you yeah. get a bit of break and you get a bit of rest. Tell me what and, type of player doesn't actually, want that. And, and, and you get to spend the bench players yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you get to spend Sorry. Christmas and New Year's with your family yeah. instead of having to train those days yeah. and then play the day after, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one downfall of the EPL. And, and again, so many people shit all over the Bundesliga, but yeah. it's a different league than the EPL. Just because yeah. you've been watching the EPL or watching a different league doesn't mean you can't enjoy if the Bundesliga. Want, yeah. If There's so watch, much to enjoy about if it. If you want to watch good team play, and I'm almost. Promise to myself I wouldn't do this coming here. Like I feel like I'm always having to defend it. Really, I don't give a shit. Don't watch it if you don't like it. Don't care. Um, if you want to watch though, good as a coach, as a player, I even tell my younger players watch the Bundesliga for a minute because you see a lot. They don't have the stars in the lower teams. You have to do so much and they, more work, and they play league. more as a con- they congealed do. team. Yeah. You, they play they more team players. football. Absolutely. You've, you've actually hit upon a large point. I was talking about talking to two coaches about today. Were they you, as smart as me? Smarter, probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know them very well, but most likely smart. Okay. But but you bring up a good point. Um, as smart as me, though. You bring up a really good point. <laughs> watching soccer. I don't care if you're watching MLS. I don't care if you're watching Bundesliga. I don't care if you're watching MLS. Uh, excuse me, uh, EPL, La Liga, uh, Serie A, whatever it is. You're the young insane. players. Young players these days need to watch soccer. There's one or two players on my son's team, that's U10, you can tell these two kids watch soccer. They come up and talk to me about, hey, how did Liverpool do? Hey, how did Chelsea do? Hey, how's Man United gonna do this weekend? And they just wanna talk soccer. They're nine years old. They're sitting down and watching soccer. Players these days need to watch soccer to see how the game is played properly. Two, two it, things, it doesn't happen enough. Two things I always have in my start of the year discussions, evaluations with players. Two things. One, what is your favorite player? Mm -hmm. And then two, um, do you watch? And I always then piggyback that and I explain. Find the player you like in the position you want to play. Mm And just watch for five minutes. Exactly. You don't have to just watch for watch an hour. Watch how they move. Yep. Watch, watch how they move without they the ball. And then go do whatever. Find, you want to be a forward, find a forward you like, watch them for five minutes. 
want to be a defender, midfielder, watch them for five minutes. Yep. That's it. That's, That's how the, the kids watch, watch a half because you can't – five minutes, I mean, I know it's like five, five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm talking to like – 10, 12 year olds there books. I know, I know. That's a half yeah. is like eternity. Yeah. I, I know, I know it is. But for, I mean, for some of like the 15, 16 year old well, kids, different. they'll ask me questions. What do you do? Like, dude, uh, if you don't want to watch a full 90 minute game, it's all right. Like, watch a half. Yeah. The, Get the older you are, the longer you should watch. Yeah, I agree. A- absolutely. And, and not enough kids are watching the sport these days. They think playing FIFA is watching and that's not no but it is tough to watch the sport sometimes right because there's not a lot of goals compared to basketball or football so or whatever do them by seven but but, but so, watch watch the sport because so you need beat, to learn how to play it. Munich beat Bauckham by like 102 yeah. <laughs> just watch Bayern Munich every week You're yeah that's goals. a lot of goals there I just think kids, do it by seven I just think kids don't have appreciation there's some people don't have appreciation of maybe like what we do was of oh they didn't score so it's not good well no you can have a two or one zero game and have a very good game with off the ball movement just a lot of great things happen in between with the defensive play absolutely or someone or a line stepped and they drew them off sides like there is so much little detail that people don't understand when they watch soccer the best analogy it's not even soccer it's all sports Sports are boring if you don't understand the board, sport. I don't care what it is. That's true. And and yeah. and it, I'll use a sport I can't stand is baseball. And I know there's people who love baseball. And I'll ask them what the hell. Shh, put your fucking shit down. <laughs> Why? I'll, just, I'll, I'll go. What do you like about it? And they'll start explaining things that like I don't care about. And it's it, truly I don't understand the sport. There's if you don't understand the sport. Then it's probably boring for you. And sure. as soon as you understand it, then you under you learn to appreciate yep. but, appreciate those things. But if your child is into the sport and you want them to get yes. better, sure, you can take them to a training like next yes. level training. You can take them to practice. You can go outside in the yard with them. Mm-hmm. But sit down for an hour and watch a game. Saturday morning, Sunday morning, yeah. Monday afternoon, there are games on television. Just watch the game with your child. You can watch highlights it is. now. Or just watch too. highlights. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. There is yeah, ESPN yeah, Plus. Absolutely. Bundesliga highlights captures every game and. Two Two to three minutes spats. You're not wrong. Plus You're, not wrong. Too. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And mostly never wrong. Well, you know what, Nate? We are going to wrap up Bundesliga chat time. Oh wait! I want let's let's wrap it up. Get get your last, last words thing. in. Get your there last words in. Sacred anniversary. Oh yes. Oh. The, what's the, the what's the anniversary about? We've been texting about this. You told big us it's one. something big. A big one. Tell yeah, us what's going one. on, my friend. All major anniversaries. It's the third year anniversary of Fritz. The beloved Stuttgart mascot, Fritz the Alligator. Did, did you say 30, 30 years? 30, 30. 30 years. As you know, Stuttgart with their vast array of alligators. Okay. Uh, I know Germany he, had alligators. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Stuttgart with the vast array of alligators. They have had Fritz the Alligator as their mascot. Beloved mascot. I joke about the alligators, doesn't it? But it is Fritz's. Fritz's 30-year anniversary as Stuttgart's mas- mascot. Hooray for Fritz! Uh, are we? Uh, are we? Like the Arsenal dinosaur a little bit. Shut yeah. up! Oh. I think. I think. I think we are gonna do the. I think we are gonna do a We Are Soccer yeah. clap for Fritz. Yeah, Fritz, wherever you are. Well done. All right. Well done on the uh, the Bundesliga chat time there, my friend.